Okay, tubers. Let's see. Put the filter back on. A few screws. Put back in it. Put your pan back on. I make it kind of easy now. They make these little rubber gaskets with holes in them to where your gasket holds the bolts in your pan. Start each one. Makes it a little bit easier. Have to drop and fumble with the, all the bolts. Let's go around starting each one. Don't tighten them down too far until you get every one of them started. Why should be taking it loose again? Got them all started. The last two hold the bracket for the shifter cable. But seeing somebody is put a turbo 350 in where turbo 400 is supposed to be, and they drilled a hole in the bracket to make their system work. Until he replaces this transmission, that's what we're stuck with. Is what they did here. I hope they got it lined up real good. Adjustment. <laughs> and I start by the old brackets out, tightening all the These are rubber gaskets, they're pretty tough, so. But you don't want to over tighten them still, you pinch them. Take much. Let me help pry it a little bit extension. I'm go around this pan two or three times, tightening up just to make sure you've got it all. Turbo 400 eventually, because I know this train is not going to be able to withstand the torque of the motor. <laughs> it's too small. I don't know why anybody would put a turbo 350 in here. It's just, I guess it'll be fine for in and out of the body shop. Looks like I'm going to fill it up and wait for a gas tank. I'll crank it again now. We'll hear it run one more time.
All right, y'all have a good day.